Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be another one of my color series videos and I'm sure you can probably tell what color it is by the top that I'm wearing. It is blue. I'm going to be showing you guys how to style blue today and by blue I mean actual blue like a light blue, royal blue. Blue, I'm not counting denim and I'm not counting navy in this blue because I want to show you guys how we can actually style blue. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Join the Stanzi Star family and also hit that notification bell down below to get notifications of when I upload new videos. I usually do about four videos a week, so if you want to get notified, hit that bell and I'll let you guys know when my videos are up. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate that. And also, at the end of this, comment down below what was your favorite look because I'd actually really like to know. Okay, so I'm sure you guys want me to get started because you guys want to see the outfits. That's what you're here for. Let's get going. Uh, I do have outfit number one on really, so let's get going. I'll see you guys over there. So look number one, we are in summer. The weather is nice. The sun is shining. We're heading out to lunch. This is the vibe I'm going with. This is a definite go-to outfit for me for summer. It's nice. It's classy put together it's very daytime for me I, I love it this is a classic dress that I have I got it from City Chic years ago I pretty much bought it in whatever color that they actually had at the time had they had more colors I probably would have got more colors I just find that it's just a classical bodycon style dress it's got the thicker straps here it's really stretchy but it's a thick stretch so it's not flimsy the length is perfect uh, I totally love it I bought it in a range of sizes of what they had at the time and all of the sizes fit me because they're stretched so I'm happy about that so we're going with, this is a royal blue style dress and I just want to show you, you could definitely wear this out in the day. There's, it doesn't stand out too much and you could dress it down if you want to wear sneakers. But I wanted to show you guys more of a put together look so I'm doing the matchy matchy. I have on just a skinny tan belt because I think tan goes with blue so nicely. Also nudes, so if you want to go like shade lighter than this, that goes really well as well for me, that nude. Um, so I'm wearing my really comfy platforms. These are so, so comfy. The wedge isn't too high so they're not uncomfortable. I've totally walked around in these all day long and have felt so comfy. So I totally love these shoes. They're an older pair of shoes but I love them. And I also have the matching bag, of course. I tend to go with a nice big bag sometimes during the day because then I can like squish as much stuff in there as possible. And you know, I don't have to worry about like a little clutch. But yes, I find this look pretty, very easy, very me. And this is how you could definitely style a dress if you want to go somewhere during the day and you want to take some pics perhaps. But yeah, really, this is like my really go to look. So, what do you guys think of this one? Okay, so our next look, we are doing a blue top, as you can see here. So this is to wear a blue top, and if you just want to wear blue and not be too over the top, this is a sneaky way that you could wear it, because it's just underneath here. Yes, there is blue on the little vest that I have on top, but it's a kind of a navy blue, but I'm still wearing the nice bright blue underneath. So you can see a pop of it here and a pop of it here, and that's what I like about wearing a vest on top. Because this is also, it's a singlet that I have and if you're not comfortable wearing just singlet -y tops, you think that the strap is too thin, popping a vest on top is the best way to cover those straps. And also, when you tie it up, I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a funky vibe. You could definitely wear it straight out if you like or you could tuck it in, whatever you prefer. But I do love a tied look because I think it looks a little bit funkier. I've chosen to wear a pair of black pants. Now, normally I would probably wear jeans with this outfit because I feel like jeans brings it really casually down and you could wear sneakers and then it's a super casual outfit and you're good to go. But today I just want to show you guys how you could put it together for rather than too casual where it's like semi-casual so you could actually wear it out to lunch or something like that. So I'm wearing these are like nice stretchy black pants. I think I'm pretty sure I got them from Torrid when I was there overseas. They're just a great pants that, you know, even if you put on a couple of kilos, they're still going to fit you because they have the stretch. 
they are like a lovely work pants you could wear to work like with the shirt but also because they have that stretch they can get away with being like a casual type pant too and of course I'm wearing my most favorite comfortable little booty shoes I love these I feel like they go with everything I love them and I feel like that kind of draws the look in together now accessories wise I've gone with a jazzy purse just to be a little bit different because normally I will try and not wear something too jazzy because the outfit is kind of casual but because I semi kind of want to dress that up I've got this kind of sparkly beaded um, bag and I feel like it brings the outfit together a lot of the times when I'm wearing say black pants I draw away from taking a black bag because normally we hold our bag here and I feel like black on black makes your bag not be seen so it's sort of if you want your bag to be shown to people like if you've got a nice funky bag I wouldn't wear black with black because it hides it and then you can't really see it until you pop it on the table <laughs> but this is this outfit. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? I think it's nice and casual chic. Let me guys know what you think. Uh, comment. Let me know. And I'll catch you guys with the next outfit. Our next look. We are still kind of in the summer region. It's spring region. We are going to be wearing a blue skirt. Well, I do have on a blue skirt. I'm going with a light blue skirt. So I wanted to show you guys some pastel -y kind of blues as well. This is a skirt. I really love this color blue on it. The material is a little bit on the thin side, but I still love the skirt nevertheless. It's, it's an older one that I've had. Now, I would always pair like a pastel with white because I think it goes really well. So if you have a white tee, a white singlet, any white plain top goes. The fact that I'm wearing a plain top is because this skirt has buttons, I feel like the buttons uh, are drawing you in here and there's, it's busy that area. Therefore, the top should remain plain and not drawing attention up here as well. What I've done is I've layered on a few necklaces and that's where the attention is. So we've got busy, plain, busy. That's how I like to kind of do my outfits. I also have just a neutral-ish sort of a bag and also I'm wearing my block heels. I feel like they go really well with the outfit. If you don't like wearing heels, some neutral flats would definitely go with this. You could also wear some white shoes because that will also do the matchy-matchy. These are also one of my favorite neutral kind of shoes and they just feel really comfy and they're my go-to. You probably see them quite a lot when I do my styling vids. But yeah, jewelry wise, that's why I've got quite a few necklaces happening because I really like that look. Uh, earrings, you could wear just studs or I've just kept the same ones on as there. But yep, this is how you could definitely style a dress. Nice and simple, just a top and a skirt. But if you add some accessories to it, it gives a little bit more jazziness to the outfit. So what do you guys think about this look? Okay, so our next outfit, we are headed into winter season because I have on a nice sweater dress. Now yes, as my usual clothes, I've had this dress for quite a while and sometimes I do feel like I'm a smurf in it because I am all covered in blue but I don't care because I love it and I feel like I can rock it. So this is definitely an outfit. My inspiration was thinking of something that you could wear to work because when I worked in the office, this was an outfit I definitely wore to the office. It's nice and covered in the right places and it's also with a belt, it pops well together and it gives that office kind of a look. So this is the one thing that i love about this dress is that it has a zipper that goes down so you actually if you don't like to wear belts you don't need a belt because the zipper does a lot of the attention grabbing for you so there's something there so the dress isn't just plain blue and all but because i feel like to wear it to the office i like to give it that little bit more of an office vibe to it i feel like a nice belt always gives it a little bit more of an office look so I've got one here that's got a little bit of a shiny buckle here, which I really like, which and I like to tim it up in the gold. My zipper, yeah, my zipper is gold too, I must say. So uh, shoes wise, just plain pointy pumps, which is mostly office attire. Definitely I wouldn't wear these on the train. I would just wear my thongs or some other flats on the train And then when I get to work I'd pop on my pumps because I feel like it totally completes the outfit Also, sometimes when I was feeling a bit more cash I would wear my slouch boots because I feel like that also goes Especially on a cold cold days boots would definitely look nicer and also make you feel warmer uh, My bag this was my definitely go-to bag my Henry Bindle I, it's my go-to every day now anyway but it was my go-to work bag because it's got the strap so you can wear it as a backpack as you're walking to and from work it's big enough to fit your uh, spare shoes in there 
because that's what we need and everything else as well make a bag that works and it also ties in the outfit together so we're doing kind of the nude 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 with the blue and just because it is all blue i recommend don't shy away from it guys because a lot of people might shy away from wearing bright colors especially if you're on the plus size like myself and i'll be honest with you i still wear them out and i actually do get stopped a lot of times by other girls i love when girls stop me just to tell me how great my outfit looks it makes me feel so good when someone does that so thank you if you if you have anyone that follows me and has ever done that it just it makes me feel really good and that's why i want to share with you guys that you could definitely wear something bright like this like covered to the arms in one color and still look fabulous in it so what do you guys think of this outfit okay so our final look is our accessories look and here i've gone with a blue bag it's a different kind of a blue it's not denim but it's a blue bag with some patches I really like this bag. I do have a few blue clutches, but I kind of show them a lot more in my videos. So I wanted to show you guys something different. Also something nice and bigger because it fits a lot more stuff in here. I got this from Macedonia when I was there. I really love it. It's such a cute bag. And rather than wearing a belt, because the color combo I chose was nude and black. And the only blue belt I personally own is bright, bright blue. And it didn't go with the outfit. So I didn't want to put it on just for the point of it. So what I've done here is I've thought outside the box and I've grabbed a scarf that I have and I've tied it here so then it kind of looks like it's part of the skirt. I really quite like how it turned out. So what I did was I brought the scarf down a little bit and then I've tied it here just in this area here rather than higher and I feel like it brings the skirt together. Now if you personally don't like to do this you could definitely wear it as a scarf itself. I think nude and blue work really well together that's why I've popped on a blue top or a nude top rather than a white top and this totally goes like it, I really like the look of it and actually it's the first time I've tried something like this that I remember so I'm definitely going to go out and wear this like this especially with some of the other scarves that I have because I really much prefer it looking like this than a normal scarf <laughs> so pumps I'm just wearing on my as shoes I've just some nude shoes definitely go blend in the new top nude shoes the bag and the scarf are our players in this. They're what we want to stand out. And they're the pop of blue. If you're somebody who doesn't really like to wear blue, I'm just showing you how you can wear a pop of blue in your accessories. Even if you have blue earrings, you could also wear some blue earrings because that will also look really good too. So that is the end of the looks. And I'll catch you guys back in my other room for a final little chat. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of the blue series for today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the looks that I put together for you. Blue I find is generally an easy-ish kind of a colour because we a lot of us tend to not mind wearing blue especially because there's so many shades of blue and it's usually pretty accessible to us as i've said in the beginning of the video like in terms of denim and navy but i did want to show you how to draw away from navy and to wear some bright blues because we definitely can rock bright blues because it's it's fun too well i hope you guys did enjoy this video comment down below what was your favorite outfit and also what color you do want to see next and to show me that you guys did watch the video to the very end, like to now, and you truly enjoyed it, comment down below something that's blue, anything that's blue, so then that way I know you guys watched it to the end. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.